I did some careful measurement and I punched a hole through the wall and that is going to be the top end of the uh, emergence cutoff switch and uh, hopefully I measured correctly I did miss the stud over here so that's a good thing so this is going to go on the outside uh, and I'm going to try to line it up with that hole and go ahead and mount it to the, to the wall and uh, then go back inside and punch the hole through the top but that hole's right there so that'll give me a lot of room to bend wires and, and make things fit and this is my hole that goes through the wall so that's going to be perfect I just uh, finished that out and uh, put a uh, pipe through there and I am done with this part of it Okay, this is where we're going to start somewhere beyond here so we make sure we don't get into the wires I've already buried a wire in here but we can tear it up I really don't care because I'm going to replace it with this bigger stuff after the trench is in so we're going to go along this the side of the house and through this gate around the propane tank and then make a left curved left and there are water pipes right here and then we'll finish up right here that's 155 feet, I think. Trenching is all done, and I think I only broke three sprinkler pipes and broke uh, one of my uh, the, the main line that comes out here. The original uh, AC line I used to power the shop, they cut that. So, uh, after I lay everything down in here, I've got to repair uh, three sprinkler pipes and the wires that control the valves and. Uh, then bury it again. Well, I don't need this. 325 feet round trip. I'll show you my $40 shovel here. It is invaluable for cleaning out ditches because it's it's narrow, the same size as a ditch, and it lets you get down in here in these tight places. The printer had to stop because it's. Uh, tool was getting too close to the foundation so I got to clean out this hole with this uh, trenching shovel okay I made the commitment I cut the cable first I checked to make sure it's going to be very long and I'm going to have to cut it again but I didn't want to cut it too short but now I get to wrestle with it to get it through this uh, this thing here and I think uh, 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 uh. Try to get it to conform to that shape. Uh, uh. Almost.
this is probably not the way a professional does it, but I'm not a professional, so. Just like a professional. I impress myself sometimes. Okay, I dug a little dirt out from behind it. Got it closer to the foundation. Still not setting straight up, but I think I can probably push it over before I bury it. Okay, I've got it in there really good now. I tapped on the bottom of this with the sledgehammer. So, now for the fun part. I'm going to bend this right about there. This tool takes a little getting used to. I'm not a master of it yet, but I've learned a few things about it. And it is a lot gentler on your uh, fingers and just trying to bend it by hand. I need to go get some gloves because I'm not going to bang my fingers up for this.
Yeah. Gotta go through that wall. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna do them one at a time. I'm gonna take my time. Not a scratch on them either. Uh, so now I need to break this up, break it down, and uh, glue it, and put it back together. And it shouldn't take very long. Hey, this is a way to waste an afternoon. This is what the trencher guy did. Uh, got both of these pipes, uh, all six of these wires, seven of these wires plus the ground. <sighs> And he, he did another one down there too. So, spending the afternoon putting these things back together. All done. <sighs> Turn the water on, check for leaks.